What is going on guys? Welcome to the first ever week vlog. As I told you in the introduction video, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing in a day. So I just finished some deep work in the mornings because everyone is sleeping in the Netherlands. And now I have a break, so I'm going to play a game of battle. And then I come back and I have eight hours of meetings today. I knew a woman more wonderful than a Disney one. I lost my heart, I just wondered if you could give me one. I hit you back, you know, lately I've had some busy ones. I've been getting this money just on my Lizzy ones. And now we're acting like children, it's so pathetic. I was trying to reach out for ages, I need my credit. There's a couple lines in our script, I think we should edit. Why you got a bitch all the time, just read my message. Shit. Fucking know I'm such a handful On one hand I'm pissed but on the other hand I'm thankful Times when it was bliss and there were times it was a shambles Times when it was lit and other times we lit the candles We're probably gonna listen when you could be hella dissing Never been the time to be so This happened after a game of battle And I was meant to show your vision I was meant to be your rare So every time I pick up this camera I have a feeling that I have to I don't know, perform good or speak better or be a vlogger or whatever but i'm just gonna gonna talk with you guys so what i'm going to do now teaching to speak english like a native so in three minutes i have a meeting with my english coach and we're just going to practice what i want to learn i'm doing this two hours every week and my goal is to speak like a native within six months yeah i'm doing this with Preply, it's called. It was literally the first thing I saw on Google when I was looking for an English coach. So guys, this is my English coach. His name is uh, Afia. What's up, bro? Hey, hey how's it going? <laughs> so what actually are we doing here? So uh, we're going through and uh, making sure that, you know, you are able to improve on your English, improve your fluency, uh, we're going through today uh, some pronunciation practice. Uh, we're going to start with like uh, the OR, right? The OR sound uh, in English. Okay. O, o right, go. more, score, door, fork. There you go. Ah, it's like push to the front and get it back. Because first yeah. your lips to the front and then your tongue to the back. So it's, it's a movement like this. Exactly. Ah, uh, I got it. So I don't know if other business owners have the same, but sometimes it's so difficult to delegate something and because you're, I don't know, scared if, if someone else is not doing it the way you would do it. And I'm currently at a stage in my business that I need to trust other people. And I'm doing a pretty good job because if I look back six months ago, I was handling 23 clients myself and that was just crazy. That's nuts. It's insane. Like I didn't have any time to think about myself or my girlfriend or whatever. And now I have two fucking A players, but sometimes I tend to do the service delivery myself, but I have to switch from role. So instead of doing everything myself, like setting up the campaigns, building landing pages, etc., etc., I have to manage what's happening and give the most clear instructions to the people who are doing the service delivery. So that's my challenge right now. I need to step back from the service delivery to the managing role and to someone who is thinking more instead of doing. So for example, this weekend, I'm going to the, to the jungle, to the woods, to clear my mind and to make new strategies, but I don't need this laptop. The only thing I need is my mind and an and a iPad. So this is my challenge for this month. So give the most clear instructions to my team so they can perform their very best. And of course, manage and control some things they are doing. But I don't know, I always tend to do things myself because I think it's faster and maybe better but I already, 
I'm already seeing like the the things uh, my team is doing and I'm so happy and I don't know two I think two weeks ago I had this team meeting and I told them as well like man I'm so grateful that I have you now that I can count on you and that you are doing the things uh, I was doing so we can build and we can scale up this company top en dan wil ik nog afsluiten met één ding en dat is um, ongeveer zes maanden geleden zat ik uh, letterlijk hier in Bali met 23 klanten voor mijzelf. Helemaal lijp, 80 tot 90 uur aan het werken. Uh, die geen idee waar ik mijn tijd moest laten, maar ook gewoon te bang om dingen uit handen te geven. Te bang om te delegeren. Ik denk ook... Ja. En ik denk dat dat ook de meest voorkomende fout is van... Uh, Iemand met een bedrijf is gewoon te veel zelf willen doen, te veel controle houden. En bang zijn dat als je mensen erbij gaat betrekken, dat het minder goed gaat dan wat jij zelf denkt dat je ervan kan maken. Nou, ik ben echt fucking trots op jullie uh, allemaal. Echt, jullie hebben mij dat tegendeel 100% bewezen. Joey als eerste was fucking spannend voor mij om iemand zoveel verantwoordelijkheid te geven. Maar als ik nu kijk, jij geeft me één keer in de week een update. Alles loopt lekker op rolletjes. Dus ik ben echt super trots uh, hoe je dat doet en uh, dankbaar. En voor Bart hetzelfde. Je bent hier één maand. Ik krijg van Brent al te horen. Van die Bart die is echt uit het goede hout gesneden. En uh, iedereen is gewoon blij met, met de aanwinst die we hebben gebracht in dat hele team. En dat is gewoon fucking ziek om te zien. Dat we nu met z'n allen lekker aan het bouwen zijn. Aan het groeien met de agency. En dat jullie dadelijk ook weer steeds meer verantwoordelijkheden krijgen met mensen die onder jullie komen. En dat we gewoon lekker aan het, uh, aan het bouwen zijn met z'n allen. En dat, ik krijg kippenvel als ik het zeg. Het is gewoon leuk. Ja, ik weet niet oprecht. Het is gewoon... Uh, Vet om te zien, man. Dus thanks daarvoor. Ah, nice. Dank je. Ja, jongens. Later, hoor. Later. Ciao. Hoi, hoi. Ciao, ciao. Let me put you on game. Don't listen to people who lose, or you'll do the same. Stop talking to people who don't give a fuck what you say. Stop spending your money on weed, go hop on a plane Stop, Stop pointing the finger and start taking some of the blame Let me put you on game The money is up and it's down, it's just how it goes Everyone's going through something What's up guys, we finally made it to Munduk um, As I guys told you this morning, Munduk is a place up north on Bali And the reason we came here is to just clear our minds a little bit And just enjoy ourselves Because the last, I don't know, nine months already I've been in Bali for nine months already it was just business, 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 even in the weekends. And I noticed I was constantly working inside of the business instead of on the business. I, I know it's a little bit of cliche, but it's true. So the coming months, we are going to do this more often to just, I don't know, step back from the business, go away for a weekend and just reflect on what's happening inside of the business. And yeah, the first stop today is Munduk. And the first impressions are amazing because the views we already uh, have seen are insane and I will show you some some drone shots as well uh, today I'm with the man Putu Putu is behind the camera he's a very good local uh, videographer and yeah I think that's it let's see uh, let's take a look at the room Putu is this a Balinese style this room or is it what is it it's not 100% Balinese style no Right, it's, it's it's beautiful though yeah and if you see the view it's amazing yeah. this is something you don't see in in Chenggu so this is I don't know this is unique and uh, I like it it's very beautiful and I think it's 30 30 euros a night so it's it's not that expensive at all and one more important thing is there's a swimming pool and if I see a swimming pool I need to make a bomb or a dive or whatever. I ain't always good, but I'm feeling better though. Drinking whiskey, head a row. Calendars looking like the skill set. There ain't a lot of hoes in my schedule. Homies on the same shit. I no longer meddle though. I ain't trying to give the tea. We didn't even know, but it's a it's a beautiful place. We should have the drone right now. Yeah, <laughs> We just tried to use the drone, but I think two weeks ago we, I, <laughs> I crashed it. it. I crashed it in the pool, but it did work. But now we tried it with new batteries, and it, 
it doesn't work. Really. Taking places I don't get to go. Haven't come to terms with that. I feel more than I'll ever know. I've got to, I've got to, I've got to get away from Okay, so Putu, what are we doing here? <laughs> uh, I'm hungry right now. <laughs> We're, uh, not, not just me. All of us is hungry. But introduce <laughs> yourself for the people. Who, hey, who is Putu? Hey guys, I'm Putu. I'm a photographer and videographer based on Gianyar Bali and I'm a lecturer in Art Institute of Indonesia and my set job is doing video shot and photograph. So we wanted to go to this beautiful lake but it's already too dark. So what we're going to do now, we're going to a, to a restaurant and see if we can find a nice spot to, to work and to uh, work on the strategies for the business. And yeah, let's see, let's go. Miss B helped the block fit the kids in the car, that's why I couldn't bring bricks to the yard. I'm plus she worked for the Jakes, it's been over 10 years, but she still see the peace in the dogs. Growing up a maybe is not actually that So this weekend ended up a little bit different. <laughs> it ended in a, in a hospital because Amber was feeling very sick. I don't know what it was. Out of nowhere. So we are going to cancel the whole, all of the plans we had this, this weekend and we're just going to reschedule, right? Yeah. So she has to stay the night tonight and she had a very low blood, blood pressure, yeah, right? 60 yeah. instead of what is normal? 120? 120, so half. Yeah. So yeah, nothing to do about it. These things happen and yeah, I hope she get better soon. So a different ending than expected. But yeah, shit happens. Good morning guys. So as you could see in the previous clip, plans changed a little bit because yesterday we were in the hospital because Amber didn't feel well. Luckily she's already a little bit better. She got an infuse and yeah, it was good we went to the hospital because it was needed because she had very low blood pressure. So we've just arrived at this beautiful, I guess it's a hotel. And yeah, just trying to get some work in. And after that we are going to the waterfall. But Amber is still in the hospital and she's the one who takes care of everything. So <laughs> we have to see what we are going to do exactly. But uh, I think it will be fine. And yeah, we're going to grab some food and then we are going to the, to the waterfalls, so. back home uh, Amber is still in the hospital and I was looking back this this footage and I don't know now I know why I started this because I'm reviewing this this footage and the videos and <laughs> I, don't know, I just noticed so many mistakes like words I use constantly or um, I noticed that I'm saying and uh, very often so only the lesson I got from this is only when you start doing something, you can improve on it because otherwise you don't know what you're do actually doing wrong, right? So you probably just saw the cinematic footage, the high quality uh, video because I was with, a, with the videographer. But I don't know, somehow I think I'm trying to do it too perfect and too professional. And even the, the high quality footage the cinematic footage because I'm hiring a videographer and someone, uh, Marijn, is going to edit it. But I don't know, am I taking it too seriously from the start? And maybe this is just enough? That's something that's on my mind. So, is it necessary to have this good videographer and this high quality image and videos? Or is this enough? This action tree camera. It's cool, it looks good, it looks nice, but I want to be as authentic as possible and only when I uh, want to say something, I can turn on this camera and otherwise it feels a little bit too, too forced. And it's absolutely not perfect and I'm, I don't know, I'm, tr 
what I want to prevent is that I'm I'm just sending information and do doing like I'm I'm someone who has figured it all out but no I'm the things I'm doing every day I'm just doing it and sometimes I have no idea what I'm doing but if I want something I put my actions into words and that's the only thing I can inspire you with so I'm not going to say I'm doing the things perfectly but some things have gone pretty well because otherwise I wouldn't be here but I have many flaws as well and I noticed it when looking back to the footage like nobody is perfect and I'm just trying my best to inspire you or someone someone else and uh, that's the goal yeah so let me know what you think this quality just talking to the camera and maybe even do kind of vlog style or the cinematic style with the high quality big big camera let me know in the comments or send me a DM or whatever I'm going to wrap it up here I'm going to enjoy my night back at the villa and uh, yeah see you guys in the next one if you like this video please it's this standard YouTube riddle right hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next one.